Yo, 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 what up, man? Chris, somebody checking back in, man, back with the blog, man. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, buddy, away, and I appreciate all the support, man. Before I get into this blog, man, I appreciate all the feedback from the Tay Rock blog. I appreciate the feedback from the John John, the Cassidy dialogue. You know what I'm saying? I'll be doing a lot of blogs a lot of times just to create dialogue, give my opinion, create dialogue. It doesn't mean I'm always right. I just try to add perspective to an actual topic. You know what I'm saying? But there is one thing I do want to clear up on the Tay Rock uh, blog I did because I see a lot of people saying, well, a lot of people go over the times and you don't ever really complain about other people going over the times. And people will always go over the time limit to some degree. There's nobody sitting there with a stopwatch to say, okay, boom, three minutes. You got to stop. It's no hard. This is not the old grind time days. And this ain't, this ain't a, this ain't a fight club and everything where everything will stop right away. So sometimes you'll write, you'll write around, you'll think it's three minutes. And by the time you spit it, it was 345 with crowd reaction. And sometimes you wrote some bars and you thought it was a four minute round. And then you maybe not got the reaction you want. And next thing you know, it looked up and it was a 330 round. That is going to always happen. I just don't personally like when the time limits are so different. So when I see something like ill will versus Versus a verb, I can acknowledge that ill will went over the time, but a minute going over a minute is way different than going over six minutes. I still feel like if you only go over a minute, I still feel like you could still win around. Like verb could have still beat ill will, you know what I'm saying? But when if ill will drops such a heavy clip on him, a uh, four, five, six minutes over the time. There's nothing is going to be. I don't care how potent Verbs round is. He's probably gonna, still going to lose. So it's the it's the difference of a time limit. When you go to this Tay Rock battle, bro, with Big K, look at this shit. Let me turn this camera around. Let me let me let me let me, let me turn it around for a minute. Let me turn it around. Hold on. Right is the beginning of Tay Rock's round right here. You see where my cursor is at. At 419, it goes to about, where are we at? About 845. So 419 to 845, that's about a four minute round. You know what I'm saying? That's about a four minute round. This live for Tay Rock is so crazy, bro. This live for Tay Rock starts right here. First round for Tay Rock. Eight, basically eight minutes and 49 seconds this shit goes all the way over and over Twenty, twenty-two. it might even go to 23 22 oh this this big k 22 12 22 12 now i started at 846 <laughs> That's too, that's too much, my nigga. I mean, I mean if y'all niggas can respect shit like that, I don't know what to tell you. I, I just don't know what to tell you. Y'all niggas got to stop being fans of battlers and be fans of battle rap. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how Big K expect to win around. I get a nigga win around like that. You know I mean, it's impossible. So just say, I don't want a fair battle. Because it ain't, I don't care what Big K saying that round. Big K could have done a somersault, a backflip, took his shirt off, shaved his beard in the middle of the battle. He could have punched Tay Rock in the face. He wasn't going to be able to beat that round. He was not going to be able to beat that round. So I have to look at it and say, I ain't never seen you rap no 14, 15 minute round. So it was done purposely. Let's keep it real. That's my only thing. That's all I want to say, man. That's all I want to say. URL dropped the card. URLs, bars over politics. It all goes down Sunday, November the 3rd, live on paper at URLTV.TV, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For those who want to attend live, this event is free for URL TV app subscribers with an active membership. URL is back, man. They dropped the card. Let's see what the card looking like. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what the card is looking like. Bars over politics pretty much going down right before the election. Hollow the Don versus JC. Okay, okay. Hollow is back on URL. This is going down in, in uh 
this November 3rd, November 3rd. So the, that's, that date is important going down in North Carolina. Hollow to Don versus JC. So it's good that JC is getting another opponent after the surf battle and he's still all right, NHB Mills. About time you got your client a damn, a, a good ass battle. About time you got your client a good battle. Hollow to Don versus JC. I'll get my predictions later, but you know, I, you know, we get another God tier on the owner's resume. I'm not mad at that battle. Tay Rock is on the card. You know what I'm saying? Tay Rock is back on the card versus Chef Trez. Now he probably won't OD in this battle. You know, Chef Trez used to be cave gang, stuff like that. Probably mutual respect. Excuse me. I think they still fuck with each other. Tay Rock and Chef Trez should be a pretty good battle. Salute to Rock. It should be a pretty good battle. Uh, what else we got? Rum Nitty versus Real Sick. I told y'all before I was hearing that Real Sick did not want to get on URL cards unless they were a name, unless he was getting some good battles and he didn't want to keep doing app only events. So this, this event, from what I'm hearing, is supposed to be pay per view, by the way. So he does, he didn't want to get like, just kind of like battling a bunch of up and comers on app only cards. He gets the alien. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we all know real sick and rap, but you know, the alien is the alien. So that is a pretty good battle though. I can't front T top and Jerry West. Nah, I fuck with Jerry West coming off that prom battle versus Chirac. You know what I'm saying? Coming off that W on prom night. T top is, is the homie. So I like to see this. You battling T top in his backyard, Jerry West. You are battling T-Top in his backyard. So be be mindful of that. And BBL Hustle versus Fonz, man. So we're going to finally get to see who will win a battle between Fonz and Prep. We are going to finally see can Fonz beat Prep at the end of the day. But BBL Hustle and Fonz, it's a solid card. I can't front. I ain't got no hate on URL. It's a solid card. No, I don't. You know, I know how y'all are. Y'all going to compare. Oh, it's not messing with Calico's card. Calico got moved. It's not messing with Hitman's card. Hitman got him and Geechee. We know. We know. But it's a solid card. I'm not mad at it. I rock with the card. I think it's going to be some good battles on there. I know Tay Rock and Chef Trez, Rum Nitty Real Sick, and T-Top and Jerry West are good matchups. I know that. And as much as I be on BBL Hustle, she do be barking. You know what I'm saying? And her and Fonz, two tall ass motherfuckers barking on each other. I can't, the landlord versus the first lady. I think that'd be a good battle. I honestly, Hollow the Don, he better show up. Cause JC always gonna be consistent. He gonna always do his thing and be consistent. So Hollow just gotta show up and, and, and be, be the Hollow that we know he can be. But yeah, it's a solid card. It's five battles. It's a little block for another battle though. It might be another battle. Cassidy, let me find out you trying to pull up on a URL event, you and John John. Let me find out, Cassidy, that you are on this car, you and John John. I'm just talking. I, I can't I can imagine him being on this car, but uh it is another box right there. So URL could drop another battle. You know what I'm saying? What do y'all think of the car? Y'all rocking with it? Y'all like it? Y'all don't like it? I think it's a solid card. It's hard to hate on the matchups because the matchups are pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to really hate on that. But that did prompt a conversation. Verb was in spaces talking about URL. You know, you know, Hitman had Beasley in the space. And he was basically saying Beasley don't really fuck with you like you think you rock with you because he did a card a week before your card, which is hurting your own uh sales. And URL just did an event a week before your weak ass. They wouldn't have never challenged it if I'm on the court with them. My name, my power, my traction. I, you, you see what I draw anywhere I go, right? Nigga, they just spit in your face. You told people to back up off, get away from him, get up. Now, that's what you said, right? Nigga, that nigga, it's an East Coast nigga. You gonna whoop him? Hey, 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 holla. He fucking with your money now. Are you gonna threaten to pull up at URL and go get beast? He's stopping your money. This is 100%. Look, y'all, what he said to me was a lie. I didn't stop a bitch ass thing and he still got the money. Beasley is a hundred percent getting in front of Hitman Holler to stop the money. So, you know, Verb is doing Verb things, you know what I'm saying? Basically saying if I was on the car, I'm the energy, it wouldn't be happening if I was on the car. <laughs> Verb, cut, cut it off, Verb. But uh that that did prompt I spoke to Hitman earlier today. He did know about this URL card, but he did not know the date. 
You know what I'm saying? I think I told him, yo, I think the date is November 2nd or 3rd. He was like, nah, I'm hearing that it's supposed to be after my event. So come to find out it is uh, a week before his event. And there was a lot of spaces, man. You know, Hitman started a space and Hitman basically said, look, I know you already don't rock with me. So not like not like that. They they will throw a card before my event. But why are they trying to stop Gucci Gotti? And his his money and his pay per view sales and all that because Gishi Gotti has been holding down URL for a long time, so why why would they throw an event and it, it hurt Gishi Gotti and Gishi Gotti is one of his biggest battle damn near, so he was trying to you know pretty much go with that angle. Let me see if I could uh. Hey hey Gotti that seven year old that seven year freestyle that you was making fun of go listen to them lyrics them league on us for me on a personal level, yeah. I, I, th yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Them league owners for me on a personal level. I said that in that recycle freestyle that I wrote myself that I can just say if I want to say it again. But if you go listen to the lyrics, maybe it could have put it could have it could have helped you for this moment right here. <laughs> Cause nigga, I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy how they just did Gotti right now. They just did Gotti crazy. Now I, I heard. I heard this card was my ear was to the street. I I heard this card was coming up, but I, I heard December originally. So, you know, I was hearing that they had a big card and a solid card coming yeah, up. Yeah, everybody, everybody I was speaking to was all saying it was going to be in December. Yeah, I ain't know nothing about it. I thought some people were saying I wasn't. But my thing is, like I said, I'm not shocked or I'm not like, oh, my God, because it's, it's, it's Hitman. I, I already know how it go with me. But I'm more shocked that now I got to change up this, this second and third and just talk about how dumb God he is. So thank you, Smack. You just gave me a couple. I'm just going to really tell Gotti how dumb he is for telling me I was dumb because I was telling him he was dumb only for them to show him how dumb he is and thinking he got friends in this game. Like, you just, they taking money right out your pocket. Like, they taking money out your pocket. They don't think, they ain't, they ain't even got the heart to be like, you know what? We hate it, man. We get on that nigga, get on our nerves, but that goddamn Gotti, oh. right, we'll wait afterwards, y'all. Let Gotti do him. We seen, we ain't never seen Gotti promote as much. He got to have something to do with, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never seen Gotti promote like this. We ain't boom, boom. And y'all going to do him like that? Damn, I feel bad writing this third now, man. I got to put this third together now, man. I got to put it together. <laughs> so there has been a lot of talk about um, this URL card. You know, Bird was trying to push the narrative that they was screwing Hitman over. Uh, Hitman was like, yo, what's up with Geechee Gotti? You know what I'm saying? Geechee Gotti is somebody I books. He's somebody that also messes with URL. Why would URL drop a card a week before Gotti has his biggest battle? Uh on the on the um on the bags and bodies joint. So, you know, we've seen before where URL have dropped cars and sometimes it looks malicious and stuff like that. But what I found out, you know, that's been uh reported behind the scenes is that the mayor <laughs> is involved in this card. And you know, when it came to bags and bodies and it came to Hitman and Geechee, he tried to pay money to get to get Hitman to push the card back. So this mayor, you know, he, he he got this thing going on where I guess he gets this money from his campaign and he has to spend it and he spends it on battle rap. He can't pocket it. I guess that would be against the rules or whatever. So he tries to spend it on battle rap. So he goes to Hitman. He tries to get Hitman and Geechee to push their event back so that it will be around election year. You know what I'm saying? Election time or whatever. We know the election is coming up. So he's trying to be like, OK, if you can push the battle back, then I can give you all all of this money that I have for the campaign that I have to spend and we can kind of make it seem like a, you know, a little political kind of thing. Okay. I guess there was some communication issues, some things didn't work out, some timing didn't work out. Hitman was already booking the event, buying flight, stuff like that. So they couldn't move the date. So he just went to URL and was like, yo, I got this bread. Y'all want to do an event? I don't mind investing into the event. So URL does this card bars over politics. And it's basically about the election and it's also about um, it's also about the mayor, you know, stepped in and helped out or whatever. So uh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> that is definitely interesting. So, you know, URL, uh, the mayor helped out with this card. And, you know, we got Hollow the Don versus JC, uh, BBL Hustle versus Fonz, uh, Chef Trez versus Tay Rock, T-Top versus uh, T-Top versus uh, Jerry West and um, 
Real sick burst from Nitty. That's what we got, man. Courtesy of the mayor. I don't know if he paid for the entire event or just helped out. But uh that's pretty much what's going on, man. Um uh mayor, uh, could you have paid Cassidy? You know, could could you have got Cassidy to do the battle or whatever the case may be? Could you have threw a little bit of extra whatever you need to do to get the Cassidy and John John battle, considering that you started helping Bullpen out at first. I don't know what's going on with that. But Shout out to the mayor, man. The mayor is back, man. The mayor is back, and that is what's going on. I just wanted to give y'all that tidbit. So if the mayor says, I will give you money, you have to do the event. He's going to tell you, RL, you have to do the event around the election. The election is November, early part of November, and I will give you money if you will do an event around that time so URL does an event. So they're not stepping on anybody's toes. I, already say, I always tell you, man, URL will gladly spend other people's money. So if you want to give some money to do some battles, we'll put an event together around around your money. And that's pretty much what happened, man. So just to give y'all a little feedback, holler at you.